around his bottom hole. Now, when there's dried poop around your bottom hole, it's hard to concentrate. So, I'm going to give Bodhi a quick bath in the sink. And I wanted to show you how to prepare your sink to give your dog a quick bath. The first thing you need is some butter or some peanut butter or some bacon grease. And you just take some on your hand and you rub it into the side of the sink. So when I'm giving Bodhi an unpleasant anal scrub, uh, he's going to be doing something a little more fun than worrying about it. So that's one thing. The next thing you want to keep in mind is that the floor of a sink is, is there's nothing to grip on and it can make your dog really anxious. So take a towel or a couple of towels and lay it down flat. Now, Again, I'm not going to give Bodhi a full bath. I'm just going to moisten that hair around his bottom and then clip it with a scissor. Hi, Bodhi. So we're going to talk in a really happy voice. And Bodhi might get anxious and start to get a little frantic, but I'm going to keep my voice soothing and calm and reassuring. And using some of his favorite treats. Again, to help him create a positive association to baths that are sometimes just necessary. Make sure your dog is pretty calm before you pick him up. Pick him up real gently. Good boy. Good boy. And at this point, your dog might even growl at you, and that's okay, because they're growling and saying, listen, I'm really scared. So you want to keep your voice really positive, really calm. Good boy, Bodie. You can see he's already kind of really into the peanut butter. So I'm going to press my belly against the sink, just like you would changing a baby's diaper. See if I can snip any of this crustiness out without startling him too much. I've done this a few times before. If you haven't, be sure to get an extra person who can kind of hang on to the dog while you're aiming the, um, you know, aiming for their rectum. Good boy. So I'm putting my arm around Bodie. Make this kind of luke, lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. You see it's unpleasant. Good boy, lovey. Good boy, lovey. Good boy. And we're going to turn off the water. Pull a shampoo in my hand. If he were a bigger dog or he were a little less cooperative, what I would do is, again, call for an assistant. I'm just gently kind of rubbing his bottom. You can put on gloves to do this. I'm, uh, you know, I work with a lot of animals. It's all poop. It's all organic. So I'm going to give him a little rub, moisten it up, get some, loosen up some of that poop for him. And then I'm going to, again, just use lukewarm water to clean off Bodie's bottom. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And I was able to loosen up a lot of the crusty poof just with water and soap. If not, or if you're uncomfortable doing this, get a groomer. Don't make your dog stressed out by jerking or holding him or speaking in a rough manner. What a good boy you were, Bodie. What a good boy. Okay, stop. So there you go. Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it, and follow me on all my social media channels. Meanwhile, remember, we're not training the dogs anymore. We're parenting them. Have fun. Happy tails. Bye-bye.